What's going on you guys, it's Brobson here, and today's video is going to be pretty filled with updates. I did a lot since my last video, and that's why there's been a few days since the last upload. I've gotten quite a few things done, but before I get into the updates, I want to actually ask you guys, what do you think of the new YouTube comment section? Obviously, they changed it, so you now need to log into a Google Plus account to go ahead and use the comment section on YouTube. They also changed a lot of the features within the comment section. They made them threaded. They changed it so that all the top comments are viewable first, and it's a setting that you can't change for all of your videos. You have to go into each individual video and change that setting. So um, to me, it seems like they really just did it just to force people to use Google Plus more because Google Plus is not being used by many users at all. And YouTube is a huge platform where there are hundreds of millions of active daily users. So forcing Google Plus on YouTube is obviously a way for Google Plus to get uh, exposure, I guess, and force people to interact with it. And I think their hope was that people would log into Google Plus and then see that they really liked it. And I think the reaction from the general YouTube consensus is that it sucks because it was forced upon them. They didn't go into it with an open mind and say, hey, Google Plus is pretty cool. They said, what the fuck is this it's totally different than what I'm used to and I don't like it at all so I think it kind of had the opposite effect of what YouTube and, and Google were hoping for but um, it is what it is and as, as a content creator it is kind of annoying because I can no longer use my inbox feature to see what uh, what comments have been left I have to physically go through each video and check it or I have to log into Google Plus to see who has commented and shared videos so it's really annoying but uh, I have gotten emails from TGN which is the network I'm partnered with and they've told me that there, um, there are gonna be a lot of changes in the, in the near future dealing with analytics and the way that you can see comments that have been posted so hopefully YouTube is taking uh, feedback or Google rather is taking feedback about the new comment section and the new features and they're gonna change them accordingly I think uh, we're kind of killing ourselves by doing the whole Bob pro protest on the, on the comment section where people created Bob and they gave him like uh, a machine gun in one picture then a nuclear missile in the other and then like they're shooting off Google Plus employees heads with another and they think that like posting those on videos across YouTube will make Google change it back to the way it was I don't think that's the right way to go about it I don't think that's gonna happen at all I think it's just wasted energy and uh, kind of similar to when Jagex releases an update and a bunch of people go stand in Falador and rage about it for a day I don't think that really changes the update I think it would be more useful if we kind of made like a, a, a a solution to it if we picked something that we think would be a better solution because obviously they want to incorporate Google Plus with YouTube so if there's a way that we could find to kind of petition for a happy medium where it would actually make the company more money and simultaneously benefit the users and uh, and the content creators that would be awesome but obviously that's me living in an idealistic world and one that not many people probably agree with so uh, that went on for three minutes. I wanted that to be like a 30 second intro to the video, but I talked about it for way too long. So now to kind of fill you in on what's been going on on the screen in the video, I got 50 rune crafting to start the video. That was pretty big because that was just a milestone that I've been trying to reach with the rune span for a while. And then I decided to start using my fish flingers tokens because the distraction diversion thing came out, the little mini game counter thing that you can get to. Um, it now shows you what mini games are active, how long until the next one is active, and things like that. And all of the ones that you have daily amounts for, I started to look at, and I realized that you get two fish flingers tickets per day, but you can't get more than 15. So, um, effectively after you get 15 you're just wasting daily tickets so I decided to use all 15 of them and then I started using uh, every single day I did my two fish flingers games and I managed to get a ton of XP I think I got 20 fishing levels I got all the way to level 60 fishing and then I also got um what else did I get? I got the full fishing outfit. So now anytime I go fishing, I can get a 5% XP boost to all fishing XP gained. And that outfit is pretty, it takes pretty long to obtain, but since I started with 15 tokens, I just no lifed one day and got all the way there. And it was pretty cool to do. Then after that, I decided to do some thieving because um, I wanted to do the quest of the feud. Because I remember from my old Max K from Scratch account that the feud quest gives you an adamant scimitar as a reward. One of the boss fights, I believe the bandit champion drops a uh, drops an adamant scimitar and you get to keep it after the quest ends and that is a level 40 weapon and I currently have level 41 attack so I'll be able to use that for the best XP possible from level 40 to 50 and then I'll be able to go camp cockroach soldiers for a rune scimitar and then I'll be pretty much in business I'll be ready to do pretty much all medium level PVM and uh, slayer so that'll be pretty cool that's the reason that I did this quest I had to do some thieving first to get myself up to level 30 thieving which is the requirement for the quest and then as you can see on screen now this is me going through the feud quest and completing it so actually kind of a fun quest and um, obviously without a guide I had to pay attention to the lore and storyline and it, it was a lot of fun it's the second time I've done it now without a guide and you kind of just uh, settle the feud going on between the bandits and the menophytes in, in the, uh, the Paul Nimnich desert I think that's what it's called so yeah that, that's pretty cool I don't think this is a prerequisite for any other quest but it was nice to get it done I got some valuable thieving XP I believe it got me from level 30 to 37 thieving and I also got the adamant scimitar so that's it for the uh, up updates that I have for you today. Remember to leave your comments and feedback below. If you guys know how to or still have the ability to leave a comment, feel free to leave one below letting me know what you think of the Google Plus update and of today's updates. And I will see you next time with a new video, hopefully later tonight.